Welcome to episode 44 of World Class Bullshitters. I'm your host, Jeff Hicks, and with me tonight is Dan Kane. Ah, he's talking. The last standing Samoan, Nick Udom. Uh, thank God I made it here fine. And finally, the one, the only, man with the original plan, Dion Green! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the man with the plan, the original tan, is back! And no, I was not in jail, goddammit. Yeah, uh, that actually never crossed my mind, but <laughs> I'm sure some of our more racist listeners would have thought that. You were in jail. <laughs> now, were you the bitch or were you the butch? I'm, I'm definitely the top. I'm definitely the top. Okay, okay. So, in a, just a few short weeks, we'll be celebrating our one-year anniversary of World Class Bullshitters. During that episode, we're going to look back on some of our favorite World Class Bullshitters moments from the first year, and we're going to try to work some magic and get everyone who has ever been on the show together for one mega episode. That means Brian, that means Joel, that means Dustin will come back from the grave. All the former Bullshitters will be back that night. You know, we're going to try to do that part. But listeners, you can take part in this episode, too. If you have a favorite World Class Bullshitters moment, tell us what episode it's from and put it in the comments of this video, and I will do my best to come up with a little highlight reel of the first year of World Class Bullshitters. And by the way, that episode drops October 21st. Now, speaking of October, Schlocktoberfest, the World Class Bullshitters month-long celebration of Halloween, kicks off tomorrow, October the 1st. Schlocktoberfest is a 31-day marathon of unlimited terror, and it starts off with Goosebumps versus Are You Afraid of the Dark. To get yourself in the mood, head on over to IncarnateStudios.com and pick up the official Schlocktober t-shirt. And if you order by the 15th, you get free rush processing. Now, on to tonight's show. This week's episode is one I've been dying to do since day one of World Class Bullshitters. Fan theories. Or more importantly, why they suck. We're going to list a few constant nagging theories and shoot them all down. Are there good fan theories? Depends on your definition of good. I guess I should say we'll discuss fan theories that suck the least. But before we get into that, shout out to the listener of the week, Dean Hevner. Thank you, Dean. Um, so now it's time for the news because next week it's irrelevant. Gentlemen, who has news to share? Uh, all right. I, I, got, I, I, got, I got some stuff. I got, I got one thing that's kind of important. Okay. Mm. Better be or your life is over. Uh, Wonder Woman is gay. Oh, what? She, likes the, <laughs> she likes the much box. Really? Yep. <laughs> Like, Munch in the comic, box. or this in the movie, or what? Is Gal Gadot gay? No, 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 just a character. I don't know if she is. I mean, if she is, I kind of hope... Well, you know, I mean, that'd, that'd be fun be, to watch. That'd be fun to watch, yeah, that'd be fun to watch. So, you're telling me that they took a character that's been around for a long-ass time, and now made her gay just to sell some comic books? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, fuck you, DC, I'm done. <laughs> Seriously. You are redone. Yeah, like, I was singing your praise last week about, oh yeah, you guys deserve to have nine of the top ten books. This is Marvel-level bullshit. Fuck you guys. Fuck you and your stupid asses. Alright, anybody else got news? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, No Man's Sky released another huge patch that was gonna not fix the whole he lied his ass off thing, but um, that was supposed to fix a lot of the issues with space travel and leveling up issues. Um, I just brought it up because I just think it's continuously hilarious is how this game was supposed to change so many lives and change gaming. And it turns out that it's just one giant clusterfuck. And even now the game's been out for three months now or whatnot. It's another huge fucking patch for a game that was supposed to be set ready to go by an independent guy who knew what he was doing. Uh, Dion, I just have one question. Yeah. Does this patch make the game fun? No. Okay, cool. Just checking. Didn't think so. Dan? Funny thing about that, No Man's Sky is under official uh, inspection for false advertising. Oh, shit! The plot thickens. <laughs> Apparently, uh, <clears throat> they can either agree and remove all the false content, which means they remove all the screenshots from the game and the official trailers from any website that they've <laughs> given them to. Oh, shit. So, the game's dead. Oh, fuck. This is terrible, though. I mean, I don't ever wish bad on an independent studio, but I guess they did do this to themselves, so... Mm. Yeah, when, when you promise a lot of shit you don't deliver, and everybody was, like, waiting for that, yeah, you, you kind of fuck yourself. I mean, same thing, look, look what happened with uh, Pokemon Go. They had the tracking thing, and then that disappeared, and then a lot of stuff started disappearing everywhere. 
and now you don't hear about the game at all anymore. Well, look at Strip Club Massacre. I was promised a giant robot fight in downtown New York with titties, but that never happened. I mean, I, I mean, it, it, it probably might happen. It's going to happen. It's yeah, it's definitely going to happen. Okay. I mean, from from what I hear, the movie is still being edited. That could just get thrown in. See, I was lied to, <laughs> I guess, by uh, another Samoan who told me some bullshit. <laughs> So I have learned my lesson to only trust the last standing Samoan. So <laughs> was his was his name Mick Lutum? It was Mick Lutum, and he's a fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. If you want your news on movies, and you want to know about good movies, you listen to this man Nick Udum. He'll tell you about this great movie, Strip Club Massacre. It comes out soon, and you know we're gonna have a fucking special premiere video on world class bullshitters. So I guess I'll close the news out with probably the best news and the image that's going to be the fucking title card for this week's show. The Indiana Jones animated video. Did you guys get to watch it yet? No. I did not yet, actually. Oh, you fuckers! It is amazing! Like, I'm not over-exaggerating. It's like two minutes long. It's just perfect. It's a montage of Indiana Jones moments. It's a, it's a send-up to classic Indiana Jones elements. And it makes me sad that this isn't a real cartoon. I, I can hear the sadness in your voice. I know. At the end of that sentence, I was like, wow, I'm going to go beat my child for no reason. No, he's cool. <laughs> you can hit your sister, though, for me. <laughs> I'm trying to read the grand posts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's cool. They even have a little bit of he uh, heavy metal. Have you guys seen the original heavy metal movie? Uh, yeah. Do you remember that little green orb, the Loch Nahr, that turns people into like skeletons and they like disintegrate? Yeah. Indiana Jones is in a cave, and it's like that scene out of The Phantom. This guy picks up a fucking skull and starts shooting lasers at him, and then all of a sudden the laser, like, hits the guy, and he becomes a green, like, skeleton and disintegrates. It's cool. Uh, if It's on YouTube, obviously. Just type in The Adventures of Indiana Jones. I saw it this morning. It only had 1,000 views this, mor uh, this evening when I showed it to my mom. It had 30,000 views, roughly. So uh, this is going viral. And it's only made by a handful of people, too. So if you want to support small art, and you want to support Indiana Jones, you know, when it's still cool, uh, go check this video out and tell them World Class Bullshitter sent you. You mean before Indiana Jones 5 comes out? Yeah, that's never going to happen. I will personally make sure it doesn't happen. Dion, <laughs> go on a road trip, all right? You, me, Dan, Nick, if any other bullshitters can make it on time, I guess they're invited too. <laughs> We're going out to Harrison Ford's ranch and break his legs permanently. Deal. That means kill him. Anyway, <laughs> Jesus. Deal. Okay, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do. We got we got oh. have a little bit oh. of Dustin in the show every every uh, every week. Well, Let me Dustin hang up my contact. <laughs> so uh, tonight's debate comes by way of Phil, but ironically, his ass ain't here. So if you, the listeners, ever have an idea for debate, write it down in the comments section and shoot us an email: worldclassbs at mail dot com. The best mail dot com. This week's topic is Hulk, Thor, and Superman go batshit crazy. Pick a team of six heroes to stop them. So, I guess you want me to go first, correct? I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you, you're the moderator. I mean, you can pick someone. I mean, it's really your show, really, if you wanted to decide who you I, wanted to go my first. Question is, does I mean, everyone have a, my question <laughs> is, does everyone have a team? Because I think you're the only other one, Dion. <laughs> yeah, I do that. have a team. Yeah. Okay, then you're, you and I are gonna go, and the listeners are gonna decide who <laughs> argued better between the two of us. <laughs> Deal. All right, so you uh, you want to go first there, and then let these assholes try to figure out who we're talking about. Uh, you you're going first, and then okay. I'm going, and that's gonna be the end of this debate. This is probably gonna be the shortest episode of World Class Bullshitters. Okay, gotcha. So. Uh, what, who was it? Who were all the bad guys? It was Hulk, Thor, Superman. And that's it. And that's it. Just it. Hulk, Thor, Superman. All right. So my team of six. Um, obviously, I did go uh, with uh, my first one was Sentry from Marvel. Um, he was is one of the most powerful characters in the universe. Particularly, I thought of him because of the um, uh, World War Hulk storyline. Um, secondly, uh, I decided to go with Phoenix. Obviously, because her immense power, one of the most powerful mutants of all time, um, and the propensity for her to go Dark Phoenix, which I took into consideration because, especially with Hulk and Superman, I might need her to go fucking batshit insane and start butt fucking Superman just to keep me alive. Oh, you're um, making me hard too now. Which, which, yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta. Only, only, only if it's a kryptonite uh, dong. That's it. <laughs> dong. <Yeah. laughs> 
He said, dong. Dong. Um, <laughs> uh, then I went with Better Ray Bill, specifically for Thor. Um, their powers are very similar. I, I do. I, I think Thor is a little bit stronger, but he has his own hammer. He has powers very similar to Thor. He could take Thor, um, at the very least, to buy time for Sentry and Phoenix to uh, to make a break for it. Then I went with uh, Doctor Strange, obviously, to have the uh, the Sorcerer Supreme on my side in the event that shit goes too crazy. He could just kill him. Um, and then uh, that's four. Then I went with Professor X, who at the very least uh, could just make them break their mind or make them think that they're small children for a moment. Um, and then finally, uh, I went with this one kind of, I felt like it was a cop out, but fuck it. Wolverine, because in the event that, you know, no one wants to kill him, I at least know that Wolverine will be bad enough to stab his friends in the back <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the greater good. Especially if, 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 if uh, Professor X or Phoenix can wound them enough to uh, to give them pause, Wolverine would go in for the kill and and actually kill him. So that was that was the guys I came up with. Well, your team is essentially half of my team. <laughs> yeah, I knew I, the fucking minute I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's we're gonna have very similar people. So first off, Professor X, I thought you got to get the most powerful mind in Marvel, and he could just mind fuck all three of them at once and we could end the fight then I have Captain America on my team because they've proven that Captain America is worthy to wield Mjolnir right. so he could fight. he can fight Thor we've seen it in the Avengers that they can you know Captain America can stand on his own and Captain America could just take Mjolnir from him and be worthy enough to defeat him because I'm thinking that if Thor goes crazy Mjolnir might you know leave him because he won't be worthy anymore Right, right. No, that's good. Plus, he's a good. He's a good tech. He's like the one of the best tacticians on the planet. True. And then I got uh, Reed Richards because he's a genius, and I thought mm -hmm. if all else fails, he'll come up with some bullshit device to just stop everything. Uh, Doctor Strange. So our teams are getting a little more similar because Superman has a weakness of magic, and mm -hmm. you know the mystic arts are like the Marvel version of magic. So if they needed to take down Superman quickly, use magic on him, put him away quickly. Uh, next up, I threw Iron Man on the team because he's smart. He would have the technology to oh, that's right. capture the Hulk and Bill Pullman. Oh, excuse me, Bill. Yeah, that's Bill Paxton. He <laughs> yeah. the power to pull all those Bills and the Hulk together in some kind of cage. So you'd need Tony Stark there to provide the technology and the money to back this up. And if you have to store these people... He can come with the money. And then finally, I threw Spider-Man on my team because I have a coffee cup with Spider-Man next to my table and I didn't have anybody else on my team. So, there's Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back. I got three coffee cups with Spider-Man on them next to my art table. <laughs> I like Don't feel too bad. I was going to come up with Galactus, but then I was like, fuck, they did say specifically heroes. So I was going to just have like Galactus just fucking step on Thor and just kill him. If I was going to pick six villains to, to defeat those guys, I would pick Galactus, Thanos. Uh, that'd be it. I think they could defeat all of them. Rogue they become the close. Yeah, Galactus, Thanos. I, I was thinking totally, I counted Death as a villain. I would just make Death, like, decide that she didn't want people to <laughs> fucking be killed by someone other than her and then make her just fucking just kill them. Just so kill them. it comes to my attention that we didn't pick any DC characters. Because <laughs> like, they, they fucking made it very clear that Superman can just beat all of them. Sure, well, Superwoman, or not Superwoman, Wonder Woman's a lesbian now, so she'll just, like, you know, piss him off or something. He'll, like, uh... <laughs> like, oh, I can literally fuck no one in the pl on this planet! The only one that could handle me is my cousin. And that's just a whole other <laughs> can of worms. <laughs> so I guess that's our debate. That's a record debate. <laughs> Alright, good night, guys. Good so it was six good. minutes, so... Good job. Um, I think the winner is the listener. Hey, I think the winner is the person that has Professor X and Doctor Strange on their team. So, <laughs> listeners, Ooh. you decide who won this debate. Tell us in the comments section below. And while you're down there, tell us, you know, how you feel about this abridged version of World Class Bullshitters. It's my <laughs> choice. <laughs> okay, so Dan, you had something special you wanted to talk about tonight. It was I... a list... And you're going to read it. I do. Rolling Stone recently released a list of the top 100 television shows of all time. Because I am lazy as shit and I have asthma, I'm not going to read all 100. 
but I shall read the top 26. Why 26? Because because, because number 26 is one of Dion's favorite shows. What is Oh, it? God. Number 26, Friends. <laughs> no, I, for a minute, for a minute, a split second, really, I was like, you know, maybe it's a good show, and Dan <laughs> thought of me as a friend while I was reading this list, going through it, he's like, you know what? My chocolate friend Dion thoroughly enjoys this show. I'm going to... But then that world of mine came crashing fucking down when I realized, oh, it's Dan. Does I it wish suck? I could see your face right now. I, I thought you were going to say it's the Bernie Mac show, but then I thought to myself, Bernie Mac isn't that good of a show to be number 26. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> of all time? No, sir. Bernie Mac is not that good. He's close, but damn it, not that good. He's, he's like a close 200th. Yeah. <laughs> he almost made the list, apparently. <laughs> Honestly, of all the TV shows to ever exist, Bernie Mac is probably the 200th greatest show. Jeez. Right after Wheel of Fortune and uh, Dragnet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dan, proceed with the <laughs> That's right, why you number... said Wheel of Fortune, and the first thing I thought of was the Pat Sajak show. And I was like, that show fucking blew. <laughs> Does nobody think a price is right? Nobody thinks a price is right at, at all. Price is right is just an institution. It can never go off the air. Eventually, they're gonna have a fucking robot host it. Just and get your fucking like dogs. Or... Get your dogs neutered, Nick. You piece of shit. Come on down. You're the next. I don't have, I don't have any dogs. Okay. What do you guys have in Samoa? Like bulls or antelopes? Snakes. <laughs> we have we we have chupacabras. Why does it have to be snakes? not as fat Samoans? <laughs> you have skinny slaves. <laughs> Anyway, Dan, continue with number 25, sir. Number 29, Veep. Anybody seen Veep? That's kind of uh, funny. I don't know if I'd ever say really? Veep is the 29th best show of all time. I think that's, that's 20, a little... 25th. I think that's a little high to be... Oh, that's that is, very... It's, it's a, a good, good show, but... It's if it's always sunny in Philadelphia is ranked under Veep, fuck Rolling Stone. Anyway, I know I'm going to say that, so keep going, Dan. Number 24, Friday Night Lights. What? <laughs> Bullshit. This is a terrible list. Are you this fucking is a horrible sick? list? Oh, it Friday gets night. worse. You, you mean you mean like the football show, right? Yeah. No, the show about the transvestites. Of course, he means the football show. <laughs> Listen, I need clarification because Rolling Stone thinks that the show with Taylor fucking Kitsch is the twenty fourth best show of all time. Hey, hey, it also features that white dude from that show early edition that no one remembers from the nineties. No, the fuck where he would get the fucking newspaper from the Thank day you. the next day. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I I watch that show, but I don't watch it. Before times. Walker, Texas Ranger? That was that my was Saturday literally night. The only reason I started watching Friday Night Lights and I was like, oh, this show is horrible. Never mind, click. Wasn't he also the coach in Oh no, never mind. That was Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> remember the Titans, Jack? Yes. <laughs> we were thinking of. Yeah, Ryan Gosling and <laughs> skinny, <laughs> awkward Ryan Gosling. I can't follow him, Coach. Speaking of Ryan Gosling, on tomorrow's episode of Schlocktoberfest, we talk about Ryan Gosling. Anyway, <laughs> <move on. laughs> number twenty-three, Deadwood. Fuck it, it's bullshit. I hate that, this. This list is crap. I'm this sorry. is the dumbest list ever. Keep going. Number twenty-two, bullshit. Lou, Louis. Okay, that's a great show. That should okay, be that really five. <laughs> so we we have one agreement? Yeah. It, yes. I don't even agree that it should be that high on the list. It should be fucking top five. That show's that good. No, number 21, The Office UK. Oh, no. Get the fuck out of here. Number 20, Cheers. Fuck, oh, fuck that is the dumbest show ever sorry loudy i know you like it but you have bad taste in tv shows uh, it's gonna get worse you know this right i swear yep. that seinfeld's gonna be number one and i'm gonna cry on air i'm gonna fuck oh, fuck fuck seinfeld fuck, fuck that show. show well i have good news number 19 curb your enthusiasm oh, okay cool okay never that's watched it bad. can't comment on it it's it, it's not bad number 18 another one of dion's favorite tv shows oh god razor star trek Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, it deserves to be in that spot. There, you happy, Dion? I balanced it out. <laughs> yeah, well, you still hurt me really deep. <laughs> I hurt myself today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep uh, going. Number 17, Twin Peaks. 
Yes. Oh no, are you serious? It's not better than I, Louie, but hey. I mean, I I just started watching that show like yesterday. Well, you're a little late to the party. I watched that shit when it was new. Yeah, I I, I I'm like trying to figure years, out. What but the, I had no clue what I was watching, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the big deal is. Like, it, it's just a big soap opera, and it's kind of boring. It's so. really not that great. I'm just joking. <laughs> Uh, some of our older listeners would be like, you guys don't realize how important that show was. To what? So, yeah, it, it was a f- kind of a flop show, but whatever. Speaking of ads. speaking of older listeners, I don't think they'll be this old. Number 16, MASH. <laughs> Ew! Uh. That is the one show I will go to bed for. Like, I can watch other shows today. <laughs> if MASH is on, I'm going to sleep. Dude, fuck that show. You know what? I wish you could read me a list of shows that I'm going to go, oh, this is awesome, but keep going. <laughs> it <laughs> might happen. There. It's probably not going to happen with this one. Number 15, The West Wing. You know yeah, what? That's actually uh, pretty good. I was going to make a joke how I'm watching a, a movie with Emilio Estevez and his dad's <laughs> on The West Wing. So, hey, it's <laughs> full circle. Boom. Greatest list ever. God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14, The Larry Sanders Show. The fuck? Is that the What's show that? with fucking Gary Shandling? I think so. He's dead. Keep going. Jesus. 13, 13, Late Night with David Letterman. Keep going, that show. What? Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and on tonight's show, uh-huh, Conan uh-huh, Brock is better. We've got, uh, we've got, uh, uh-huh, now, uh-huh. Uh, you're, you're improvising a fake gap in your teeth, right? Trying. I'm okay, trying. Okay, cool. You can't really yeah, make I, a I, I, can, I, I, I can totally hear it. I can totally hear it, Dan. I can totally hear the gap. Well, thanks, bro. I acknowledge yeah. it happens. <laughs> okay. number, number 12, Game of Thrones. Never seen it. I do really love that show. <laughs> I've seen two episodes and I'll never watch it again. I love Game of Thrones so much. <laughs> Not going to lie to you, ever. Maybe you again. should so I can respect you. <laughs> <laughs> That was dark. I know. It's one of those nights. <laughs> number number 11, Freaks and Geeks. Overrated. Oh, show. God damn it. I'm so tired that, of hearing that show, how great that, that, that show's pretty shit. good. I, I liked it. You know what? You're a, It's a bunch of fecal matter. Fuck you, Paul Feig. We, you are hated on this show. All right? Fecal matter. <laughs> You're a fecal. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't take, I can't take all the credit. Our fans came up with those phrases, and if you're one of the, if you're the fan that came up with Fegal Matter or Feget, remind me who you are. I'm gonna give comment you and say your name. Oh, yeah, <laughs> give me your address. I'll send you a free uh, something in the mail. <laughs> a free piece of Fegal Matter. Yeah, send you some Fegal Matter for free. <laughs> all right, what are we on now? Number eleven. Number ten, The Daily Show. This is see now these aren't uh, TV okay, shows uh, like the narrative. These are just like oh whatever happens to be on whatever happens like in you know pop culture or whatever. This this comment. real this really sounds like somebody was flipping channels and just started writing shit down. This is what it sounds like. I liked the Daily Show until John Stewart left. See Nick, yeah, to me, this feels like the most pretentious list. Like some really like guy who thinks he's smarter than he really is. College students like oh well, right. Well, I'm well gonna... I mean that, that's that that's all that's all they get for writers at Rolling Stone are just pretentious college kids who think they know what the fuck they're talking about. Didn't they also uh, say that somebody got raped and they ruined some people's lives and they found it was all bullshit? Probably. Yep, but they yeah. ha- and they had to do a redaction. Yeah. And they, well, so got you, sued and everything so, too. You're a piece of shit. You're a fucking, you're a terrible journalist, and you have terrible taste in TV. I don't know what's more offensive, ruining that kid's life or putting the Cosby show uh, somewhere on this list. Fuck it, keep going. <laughs> number number nine, All in the Family. Yeah, never That's saw a it. That's good show. I, I don't love it, but I'll it. was all right. It was <laughs> I like white people. This shit. I like white people. <laughs> <laughs> the Jeffersons. <laughs> Thank you, Norman Lear. <laughs> all right, keep it rolling. Number eight, Live from New York. Oh, Saturday night. There, there are so many way more shitty seasons of SNL than there are than there are good ones. The Robert Downey Jr. season. Oh my god, <laughs> that the happened. Worst cast. The worst. The ben, the ben Stiller season. Wasn't that like 1992 or something? It was also like three episodes, and then they fired him. <laughs> it's funny though. He went on to be more successful than like 80 percent of the people that were on that season. Including that Tim Meadows. That, that, that's a shallow pool because that motherfucker got some bad stuff to his name too. Yeah, but he also has some great stuff to his name, like The Cable Guy, Mystery Men, The First Meet the Parents is a good movie. Don't uh, put Mystery Men as great. I love Mystery Men. It that is, is one of the, that is the best superhero film of 1999. 
I oh, love that's rim jobs. Movie. They don't make them conducive it's to my health. only superhero film of 1999. <laughs> Just shut up. I, I fucking love... They, they should have made more parts of that. That should have been a cartoon, man. Come yeah, on. Flaming yeah, Jean, Yeah, because we all want to see Janine Garofalo talking to a fucking bowling ball. That's awesome. I, I actually do. I wrote some fan fiction, which you can find. <laughs> and anyway, keep going. <laughs> Number seven, I think, will be a show you all actually like. It better be The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The Twilight Zone. Oh, okay. What? Oh, wait, hold, on. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which, which one? The old one or the new one? 59 to 64. Yeah, it's All right. Yeah, not the one with Forrest Whitaker's half-blind ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's not blind. He's, he's a really lazy eye, okay? Give him a break, all right? He sees a slit. That's, that counts, because he can't see <laughs> about five degrees give him a above him. <laughs> okay, so Twilight Zone is number seven? Yep. Okay. Number six, The Simpsons. Okay. I give it that. They That's got longevity fine, and a lot of good I, episodes. I can see it being top five, but hey, keep it rolling. Well, you'll definitely want to replace it with this one. Number five, Seinfeld. <laughs> Fuck that show. That is the only show I can't get into. Like, within five minutes. I can never <laughs> watch a single episode of that show. It's so bad. It's I saw one shit. episode and that was it. There are a few good episodes, but it's not one of the best TV shows. Of all. I saw the contest episode, and that was all I needed. I saw the Muffin Top one, and it wasn't that funny. I love the Muffin Top episode. I, I saw the Frogger one, and it was okay. Now that we got that out of the way. Number four, Mad Men. Never really? Seen it. So is Breaking four? Bad number one? It's gotta be. No. Uh... It's Breaking Bad is number three. Oh! <laughs> oh, it is better than Mad Men. I give it that, but... Mad Men at number four, wow. Okay. Number two, The Wire. That is a great show. That is a damn good show. I've never seen it because there's too many black people on it, but I'll take your word. <laughs> God damn. That's <laughs> dark. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> any, uh, guess, any guesses on number one? Roots. The Cosby <laughs> Show. Rape. <laughs> What's the difference? One has James Earl Jones. Keep it going. Well, no. Number one is The Sopranos. Oh, it's not the best show of all time. You know what? That list was a big letdown, Dan. Do me a favor. Just read me like 190 and you know, just read those. 190? Like 190, 80, 70, 60, 50. You know what I'm saying? This is the number. The oh, the tens? Yeah. All right. I got a fucking... Let me scroll down. <laughs> Dude, I'm doing this on my fucking phone, all right? Let me put that control F, bro. <laughs> you have no idea how long this takes to load on this fucking phone. Rolling Stone's website sucks. Rolling Stone sucks. They talk about... Well, it sounds like, let's not stop at the website. You are a garbage publication. You haven't been relevant since the 70s. You haven't been relevant since the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> that joke is funnier than it should be. Yeah, it was good. I, I'll give you props, Brett. <laughs> I feel better now, especially since the website's not working. Is it not? <laughs> this well, show is going. I, so I guess. Well. It, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Apparently not. I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. I, do you guys like the list you've heard so far? I like certain no. parts of the list, but not as as the a whole. Bad Friends is only number twenty six. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'll be there for you, Joey. You're so funny and somehow able to operate a vehicle. Even you know, though you're you know it's fun. Here we go. I got the list in front of me. The hundredth greatest show is Eastbound and Down. It is funny, but I wouldn't say it's the hundredth greatest show of all time. I like it. Number ninety eight is the Golden Girls. Ugh. Ugh, that's a lot of pussy. Here we go. I'm not going to read every number, but this is pretentious and bullshit. Portlandia is number 97. No oh, fuck way. That show. Fuck I hate no. Fred Armisen. I tried watching that show, but it was it's I it, it, it's, it's too, horrible. It's so much, it's so much hipster com uh, like comedy. I don't I don't care about it. It's bullshit. Oh. Well, number oh. 90 is the Dick Van Dyke show. I did like that show. Mm, that was all right. I like his accent. I thought he was going to finger me or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hillary's gonna like this. Number eighty-eight is Party Down. She does like that show a lot. I remember. Yeah, I lived good. In, we watched every episode. She's like, "There's no more seasons," and then she got upset. Yeah, it's definitely not the eighty-eighth best show of all time. Well, number eighty was The Fugitive, which got oh. to the Fugitive starring Harrison. Yeah. Damn, and I forgot that, that was a show. Number seventy was Roseanne. 
No way. I fucking hate that show. I didn't like it either. It's it's just poor mm. people. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's it's, it's poor white trash. It, it it's basically the live action version of um, the fuck is it? Uh, uh I forget the name. Every of that southern person. state ever. That's I true. They, I thought if, they lived in Michigan. If I wanted to see poor no, people, they, they, I would stay like, at home. I want to say they lived like in outside Detroit. I thought. Well, speaking of shitholes, number sixty is Beavis and Butthead. That needs to be way higher. That 60? should be way higher than That's, sixty. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess you know since Beavis and Butthead made fun of all those music videos, and Rolling Stone got upset because they probably gave all those albums like, tw- you know, we gave Winger's Greatest Hits a five star. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this website's trying to load all these videos. Number fifty, ER. Oh, no way. Is it the 50 best show of Dude, all it's time? got Eric LaSalle. Yeah, and it's got George Clooney. You don't see me line up to suck his dick tell me he was one of the greatest actors of all time. Actually, I have. That You weren't supposed to talk about that, Nick. <laughs> all right, this ain't baseball, bro. <laughs> don't you talk about baseball, Nick. <laughs> I didn't say shit, damn it. I wish the other Nick hold was on. here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's also address uh, something else. Uh, George Clooney was, was in two horror, shitty horror movies. Um, Return uh, of Rotten Tomatoes, and also uh, Return to Horror High. Um, Is he really three, in Return of Rotten Tomatoes? Three yeah. shitty horror movies. Oh, God, what's the third one? Batman and Robin. <laughs> 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 well, The Shield is number 40. It's not the 40th best. The Shield is oh, pretty that, good. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Vic Mackey. He looks uh-huh. like a testicle. Okay. <laughs> hey, man, he's the thing, bro. He was a good, good thing. Uh I, I, hate, I hate procedural cop shows. Sorry. I don't. I mean, Miami Vice is the only one I can get into. But that one was fun because it was like, I guess watching it now, it's you know you can kind of laugh at you know all the things that are going on in that in that show because they're they're not you know. I play my own personal it's... Miami Vice game. It's find the cocaine. <laughs> Who was on coke? Oh shit! I always win. Yeah. By the way, number thirty is the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Okay. See, they they should have just had like best greatest talk show or something because talk shows shouldn't count. No, they, no, they shouldn't. No, they're bullshit. They're really bullshit. And I mean, if they, if they if they have if they have da- the Daily Show on there, why don't they have sixty minutes on there? Right. They you might. Know? I just haven't you know looked it up. <laughs> yeah. I am trying to currently find out where it's always sunny in Philadelphia is, and it's nowhere on this list. So bullshit. Suck my dick, Rolling Stone. I could forgive the rape allegations if you put It's Always Sunny on here, but hey. <laughs> I guess that ain't happening that today. Too. Well, oh. speaking of Rolling Stone, they just released a list of 10 TV shows that outstay their welcome that I have up. You know what? Read it. We got some time. Number 10, True Blood. Yeah. yeah. That, fuck that show. I saw one episode thanks to Joel. and uh, He would like that show. Joel likes any lot, TV show. A lot, lot of tits, not a lot of explanation as to why they're there. He, oh, <laughs> he's all the, the TV is on. Joel likes the show. <laughs> I wouldn't you know, make I, a joke about Supernatural, but you guys all like that show, so I'm I'm in the minority. I haven't I haven't seen that show. No, well, it's definitely I mean, overstated. It's welcome, though. No, it really I, has. It really has. I stopped watching it in season 10. Like, once season 11 comes up on Netflix or Hulu, I'll binge watch it, and then I'll be fine. But Right, then, I, then you're like, this'll do, this'll do. That'll yeah, exactly, because, I mean... You know, it's ten seasons. Cool, you've hit you've hit that fucking landmark. Awesome. Now quit. <laughs> End it. But I guess I guess I guess uh, the, the two leads like love each other and butt, butt fuck each other too much to you know quit the show. So and they do, they do love the fans a lot, and I'll give them props for that. Like they do true. recognize that the fans kept the show up. But it's like, dude, fucking give me an awesome ending, and then everybody dies, and then that's it. Or better yet, better yet, you know. Make a movie and put it in theaters. Do do that or something. Right. Yeah. But uh, have have you seen the uh, the Hollywood uh, girls who made the parody to uh, Supernatural? No. I'm gonna link that to you right now. It's actually really funny. It's yeah, hilarious. send it to me. All right, Dan. Well, what's number nine? Number nine is How I Met Your Mother. Yep. Oh fuck. Uh, yes. Yeah, that, I did. That show was on forever. Yep. Nine seasons too long. <sighs> Should have been like six. Damn. Number eight, Roseanne. Yes. Uh, yep. I'm surprised she didn't have a heart attack by season three. She well, she was right for president a couple a couple of terms ago. Because she's crazy as fuck. 
And I don't care about her or Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Whoopi! Whoopi! Goldberg. <laughs> I want to see her fight Triple H at WrestleMania. <laughs> Dude, how much of a fucking troll would that be is if WWE advertises we got Goldberg coming to WrestleMania and the crowd's like, Goldberg! And, and it's her. I think this would get booed out of the fucking building. That would be so... Well, well, no, I think I think what happened is people get booed and then, then they'd be about it once you walked into the ring. It's like, well... I mean, you're never going to see this ever again. You might as well enjoy it. I mean, if she gets her ass beat by Shaq and Big Show, I'm all for it, but... <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dan, what's next? Number, uh, what, number seven? Yeah. Seven! The X-Files. I like that show. Yeah, what's yeah the there's fucking the thousand in it. It should have been done by then. Agreed. Agreed. Well, I mean, they're, they're they're redoing it now, or they have another season coming, or some shit like that. So, they should just let it, let it die. Honestly, I mean, I did kind of like the new season; it was okay. I think one episode out of the, out of the five or six they put out was really hilarious and really good, but the others were just kind of like the same shit over and over again. And you know, why why would the FBI hire him again after he like did all that shit? <laughs> because people are desperate for television ratings. <sighs> God, that's true. All right, Dan, what's number six? Number six, The Office, America. Yeah, fuck that show. And yeah, never watched it, don't really care for it. All right. Number five, Weeds. Yep. Yeah, yep. That, yep. That show became horrible. <laughs> became? It started out pretty <laughs> shitty, if you ask me. Well, I just wanted to fuck the MILF, all right? Get off my back. Which one? <laughs> they were both MILFs, dude. I want them both. The main girl, Nancy, or whatever her fucking name is, and the blonde from across the street. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Elizabeth Perkins, good-looking woman. And she yeah. got fully nude in that show. Yes, yeah, she did. If I, could did. Link, if I could put that in this week's video, I would, because everyone should see that. <laughs> but I can't, so I won't. But there's this thing called Google. shame. All right, Dan. All right, Dan. <laughs> All right, next. Beverly Hills, 90210. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty shit TV show. Don't care for it. It was. And then, was Is Luke it Perry four? really gay? He, he look at him. Look at him. I'm going to ask him <laughs> next time I see him in person. Next week. Down at the fucking <laughs> social security yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Luke. <laughs> you you gay? Him. Yo, hey, yo, Luke. Luke. Do, you, uh, do you like stuffing the sausages up your poop chute? I mean, I got this website. You can start sending these dicks all day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Luke. Do you smoke pole? What's up, man? Hey, Luke. Do you like looking at another man in his eyes and then... When the time is right, sucking on his power source. That got really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and on hey, that Luke, note, next. Hey Luke, hey, Luke, when when you walk into the store and you see another dude walking next to you, do you stare at him and wonder, I wonder what his root tastes like? What? <laughs> you, we think you've been off this show. You've gotten weird, man. You changed. <laughs> hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Ah, stop, Philip. <laughs> okay, hey, keep Luke. going. Do you like, do you like, when you look at another friend, do you say, hey, I want to plumb your fudge factory? (laughs) (laughs) I feel like any time that we want to cancel a bit, we'll just start saying, hey, Luke, hey, Luke. (laughs) Next. (laughs) Phil makes it on the show again. Hey, Luke. Just ready to get on. I think I'm on number four now. Uh, <laughs> what is yeah. going with that? Eh, the, the next one was Two and a Half Men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The minute that you were like, when you, when your fallback plan was fucking Ashton Kutcher, <laughs> that should have been the signal right there. <laughs> Just tap out. Just tap out. You know who we need? Ashton Kutcher. He's busy nope, making those done. internet we're millions done, on fucking Uber, but hey, let's get him on this TV show and pay him a lot of money. He's worth it. Wait, wait, does he own Uber? No, but he invest. I think I read online that Ashton Kutcher invested twenty million and turned it into two hundred million. Jeez! In like five years. Wow. Yeah, good for him. I mean, he's a smart businessman, but a terrible actor. <laughs> he is garbage. The only thing I ever wanted to see him do was play Han Solo in that episode of that '70s show, because he looks kind of like Harrison Ford. Not yeah. a lot, but enough. Of all those people, he looked the most like him. But it was fucking you know- right. Anyway, keep going. Uh, that was number three. Was number two, 
is Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh my god. Oh. That that was on too long. How long was it on? Like a week? <laughs> it says here the run was 93 or 1996 to 2003. I didn't Jesus. honestly I didn't even realize that show made it into the 2000s. I did I yeah. thought it was like literally 2000 was the last episode, I thought. Yeah. I watching the cartoon. 96 2003. Holy shit, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and I'll say the Hey Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the cat's name Salem? Yeah. Yep. And apparently the cat was gay. Like the character <laughs> actor or the actual cat? The ca- the character. Oh, how how are cats gay? No, because he was like a a wizard that got turned into a cat. Yeah, and apparently he's gay. So him and Wonder Woman are best buddies, right? Him and Luke Bry or uh, Luke Perry. <laughs> <taking out. laughs> Dion, would you wear a shirt that says Luke Perry is my homo on it? I would <laughs> totally do that. You know it. Okay. Just, just make sure for Dion it's an extra small so he can really, you know. Accentuate the gut. Accentuate the gut. <laughs> Show hey, my Luke. Nip. hey, Luke! <laughs> do you like, do you like chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> when a cold, yeah, this when a cold breeze hits him, his nips, his nips get super fucking hard and break through the shirt. Hey, Luke, hey, Luke, you want to taste the cream filling? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Luke, you want to make a ding dong, a Swiss roll, or whatever the fuck all those stupid fucking snack cakes are? Twinkie? I think Dan would just go, hey, Luke, hey, Luke, you're gay. Walk <laughs> <laughs> hey, Luke, hey, Luke, fag. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and that's where it crosses the line for Dion. <laughs> There's a line? Yeah. What? Anyway, what's the number one most overstayed show? Uh, Entourage. Yeah. Oh, I've really... never watched it, but I'm going to agree with you, because I don't like uh, the center. Yeah, it was uh, it was quite long. That's what she like, said. Literally, Jer- Jeremy, <laughs> too good. That was good. That was good. I'll give you that one. Thank you. <laughs> I need it. Yeah, I, I I watched that show all the way through twice, and like the second time through, I was like, "Man, this is why why really you long. twice?" Well, you... the first time the first time I watched it was years ago, and then before the movie came out, I watched it again. Do you have a man crush on Adrian Grenier, whatever his name is? No, it's Jeremy no. Piven, isn't it? Yeah, I really God that 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 it's receding that, that, <laughs> that receding hairline is just ah uh, so much, man. Just makes they made a fucking man. movie out of that shit. Did they they did, them, or just one, one, okay, one. It's like, literally, movie. a movie no one wanted to see. I remember seeing the fucking cardboard cutout at the movie theater. Didn't see the movie, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, you yeah, and movie. everyone else on the planet didn't go see the movie. Yeah, the, the, the movie was just an hour and a half long episode of, of that show. That's all it was. Listen, and then at the end, at the end, they make the funny referential joke. It's like, hey, we should make a show about our lives. No, that'll never work. Ah! Wasn't there a Wahlberg on that show? Uh, yeah, well, it's supposed to be. It's by Mark Wahlberg. It's supposed to, te- you know, because you know Mark Wahlberg makes shit up. But it it was supposed to technically be about his life or whatever. And then he's in the at the end of the movie. I think I remember seeing the clip of the movie with him in it, and I'm just like, this, this is horrible, Mark. So, what the fuck were so, you thinking? So real talk for a minute. Does it discuss the time where Mark Wahlberg blinded an old Asian man in one of his eyes? Nope. Nor does it discuss the time that he threw rocks at a class of black kids and their teacher. You know, Mark Wahlberg, I hope you die on that oil rig movie for real. <laughs> Just saying. I it is funny because like, like, when he's in movies, you want to like him, and then you remember, oh yeah, you're probably a really closeted racist asshole, dude. You're a piece of shit. You're, no, a, I, you're I didn't, really a bad person, Mark I didn't Wahlberg. realize he was that bad of a person. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, and then he, no tried to get, he tries to get it off of his record. And then, like, one of the victim's moms, like, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm wondering <laughs> about that. Because like, I think he ran somebody over or something. And, uh, they're, and the, yeah, the, the, the family was like, no, you're, you're not taking this off ever. It's going to be a, a glaring spot on your record for your entire fucking life. I want to get famous enough to start a celebrity feud with Mark Wahlberg. Because I got you guys to back me up. We may kill Fuck him. Yeah. Fucking Mackie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> you look too much like John Cena to exist. Taking you out. Oh, oh I look God, like he Mark does. Wahlberg. Hey, Mark Wahlberg. 
<laughs> I feel like John Cena could be a fun guy if he only had to hang out with him for like 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't think you could hang out with a It'd whole It'd be a long thing. 10 minutes. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Brapadoo. Well, Brap-a-doo. While, while I'm here, do you guys want to hear their 12 worst TV shows of all time? Shoot through them. Yeah, let's That's, go. Yeah. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right. We're deep in the shit now. <laughs> We're deep in the <laughs> Luke Perry. <laughs> hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. <laughs> Let me get that chocolate thunder. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking about Dan like that? Uh, no, 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 number 12, Duck Dynasty. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. fucking hate that show. I'm talking about racists. Yeah. Just call that show hashtag it's okay to be racist. Fill with a beard. Their description's beautiful. <laughs> a dipshit sitcom passed off as a reality show. Yep. Weren't those dudes like then a photo come out what they actually used to dress like. They dress like normal dudes. They just rich dudes who owned a company who created these fucking characters that A and E fucking bought. Pretty yeah. much, they're yep. like normal guys that are multimillionaires. Yeah. yeah, they are because of some fucking duck call they made or something. <laughs> duck calls. All right, uh, number eleven, the Ropers. Oh, What's... those poor people. This is a spinoff uh, to uh, Three's Company. Oh, never. It's it's, yeah. it's, it's not good. It's not. <laughs> Those poor people. Uh, number ten, Northern Exposure. Oh, Jesus! I forgot about that show. That show's amazing. The DVD box is a fucking zip-up coat. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen that uh, DVD box. I've never seen the show though. Neither. Have I. <laughs> I think that's kind of bad that you've seen the box and remember the box, not the fucking show. Yeah, that tells you something about the show, doesn't it? <laughs> it tells you. Yeah, it tells you something. <laughs> How many, to be honest, how many fucking shows come inside of a coat? That's probably a good point. none. Point. Fargo. I mean, uh, they all come inside of a coat if you just steal them. <laughs> I come inside of a coat if you just let me. <laughs> I knew you were gonna go there. Hey Luke. Hey Luke. Hey Luke, give me a coat. <laughs> Okay, Dan. Uh, uh, number uh, fuck it, nine. <laughs> Viva Lachlan. Don't even what? know what that is. What? It was canceled after two episodes, and it yes. wow. starred Hugh Jackman. Oh yeah, that's where like the the trailer was him doing Sympathy for the Devil with the Rolling Stones. Yep. Enough. Yep. I fuck God that show. I remember that hearing that show was horrible. Number eight, sixteen hundred pen. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I vaguely remember that. That was an ABC show, right? I think. Uh, NBC. Oh, okay. It's all bullshit to me. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Osborne's Reloaded. Ugh. Uh, like Ozzy? Yeah. yeah. Fuck those people. Wasn't that, that was just that was just Jack and, um, what's her name? The Closet Bitch. What's her Please, name? Or, uh, Kelly. Kelly, I want, yeah, to her, yeah. I want to call her Lori Osborne. Who the fuck's Lori Osborne? <laughs> She's got to be relevant. Some random bitch right? that lives or, lives down the street from you. <laughs> there is no one named Lori on my street. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't remember 600 Pen. Holy shit, I watched like two episodes of that. Do you miss it? Uh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know um, there were more episodes than the first two I watched. Is it one of those shows where you go, "Damn, I should have watched more of this"? Because maybe my viewing would have saved the entire series. No, I mean it was like it was okay. pretty funny. <laughs> it was okay. It wasn't yeah. that good though. It wasn't that good. Yeah, it wasn't memorable. I just love that it was. No. <laughs> uh, next number: The Hard Times of R. J. Burger. That show is fucking stupid. Was that like an MTV show about the kids or whatever? Yeah, the Wait, no, 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 no. Was, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he had a giant dick. Yeah, and it was the dumbest fucking show because if it was realistic, he would have just fucked all these stupid girls and been like, "Hey, that's the show." Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, I could have watched the show. It, you know, like if it's like I mean, it's a TV show, so I'm not gonna show anything. But at the end of each one, he goes, "That's the show. I fucked her," and then it just ends. I would enjoy <laughs> that part more than anything else. <laughs> Instead of some fuck ugly dude with big hair and glasses, like, "Hey, uh, I'm RJ Burger." Stupid show. <laughs> next. Uh, next, The Ghost Whisperer. Oh, Jesus. Did you ever have huge tits? Big, yeah. big Titty Mag- She yep. did have really nice tits. Big Titty MacGuffin? <laughs> <laughs> I love that phrase. I'm stealing it for my own. <laughs> hey, real quick, for the record, 
The entire series of Northern Exposure on DVD cost one hundred and forty-seven dollars. Oh, fuck! Not that. worth it. <laughs> Not worth it. I will, I'll I'll pirate it and put it somewhere for for everybody to watch if they really wanted that. I don't ever want to watch it <laughs> ever, even if there's a fire. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Next, was... next, for the love of Ray J. Oh my God! What, the fuck? what is that? Moesha's brother had a show. I forgot all about that fucking shit. Oh, I've seen his show. It's where he fucks Kim Kardashian, right? No. <laughs> That's my favorite. This is even worse. I, I do like that video a lot. Wow, it's got a 3.2 out of 10 rating on IMDb. <laughs> it lasted from February 2nd of 2009 to February 8th of 2010. Oh. That is way too long. I was hoping it would be February 8th of 2009. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> it made it one whole week. <laughs> Actually, in six days, they spent up production and fuck it. It's a, it's a shit show. <laughs> Dude, this girl's got a face tattoo. Ugh. She, ew, this woman looks like 90 years old. With a face Just tattoo? Just for the love of Ray J. Uh, <laughs> it's a step down. I mean, I'm not saying Kim Kardashian's that hot, but she had a great body. And then he went to this chick with a blonde afro. Anyway, keep going. Next up, Joni loves Chachi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Come on, that show's like a punchline. It's not even a real TV show. I mean, it is, but it's like, hey, what's the greatest show of all time? Joni loves Chachi. Nobody loves Chachi. <laughs> Nobody really give a fuck about Johnny either. Her brother was Michael Myers, dude. Hold your tongue. <laughs> Seriously, the guy that gets his the mask pulled off at the end, that's her brother. Really? Yeah, Tony Moran. Oh, yeah, shit. Just like- I've, I've I've met that guy a couple times. Yeah, that's that's Michael Myers and that's her brother. That's crazy. I forgot they made a Joni Los Chachi reference on Dodgeball. I was about to say that's Joni the highest Chachi. point of that show is fucking Dodgeball. Because I googled Joni Los Chachi and the first thing that pops up is Dodgeball, Wedding, Fonzie, and then White Goodman. W H I T E. I love that movie. I do too. We'll review it one of these days. Uh, next up, Stalker. Never heard of it. What the fuck is that? What? It, it's a CBS show about finding serial killers. You know, like huh. the other, the other 23 CBS. they have. Wow. <laughs> Anything else on this list? Uh, last one, The Pickup Artist. The I don't know this show. Oh, that was the dudes that were, uh, it was like a, a fucking VH1 or something, and they weren't that, wasn't that the one where they yeah. were... Telling random dudes how to pick up the dude like was Did wearing that fucking look? hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking hat. The douchebag in a giant fuzzy hat who asked women to call him mystery. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know awesome. what to say anymore. So we're just gonna move on to the next segment. Done. <laughs> So, uh, this is going to be another great episode of World Class Bullshit. We just take <laughs> dumps on everything, because tonight's main feature is fan theories. Are they stupid or just plain retarded? Or are they fans <laughs> trying to create their own part of pop culture? Whatever they are, they suck and they're ruining entertainment. Just look at Star Wars Episode Seven, A $250 million fan fiction of a movie. You get all the movies rolled up into one and they're all shitty. So, uh, I have a list. It's a couple fan theories. Guys, pull up some more, because these ones I have are beyond retarded. I just thought they'd make you laugh. (laughs) And I just want to put this one out the pasture before we get into this. Before we get into the bullshit tonight. Before any more Hey Luke jokes. Hey Luke. Bond is not a code name. I've said this about a hundred times on the show. I will say it a hundred more times until everybody on the planet stops using that fucking argument. Like, oh, it's just a code name. You're an idiot. Sorry. I'm, I got Chris Jericho flowing through my veins right now, okay? So drink this. Every James Bond film has referenced another one that another actor starred in. So, if you watch the George Lazenby one, they talk about shit Sean Connery did. If you watch Roger Moore, he talks about what George Lazenby did. If you talk about... If you watch uh, Timothy Dalton, he talks about what George Lazenby did. And if you watch the Pierce Brosnan one, it talks about the shit he used to do in the past, which is all the stuff the other Bond actors did. And even the producers think you're stupid for perpetuating this... Uh, stupid fa- uh, fan theory, so much that they put James Bond's parents' headstones in the movie, and spoiler, their last name is Bond. So, with that being said, let's get into 19 mind-blowing fan theories that completely change famous movies and TV shows. Ugh. As in? 
Let's fucking do this. Do it. All right. God damn. Pull off the band-aid. Let's go. Oh, it's going to hurt. Mm-hmm. So, first one. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is set in heaven. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Wait. That makes sense. Nope. I don't buy it I'm already done. Yeah. So, do you guys want to go play our favorite game, explain a film plot badly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just want to read you a few of these, and then we'll play that game, and then we'll call it a night. But, uh, so, in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will Smith moves from his parents' house in West Philadelphia to live with his wealthy aunt and uncle in Bel-Air. One theory claims that Will is actually killed in the flight that is mentioned in the theme song, and the rare cab is actually God taking him into heaven. Bel-Air is really heaven, and Will is there, coming to terms with the issues he's had with his estranged aunt and uncle, who have also died. His parents only appear in Bel Air on special occasions, and that's why they are visiting his gravesite. That's that's dumb. What? What? That who? First off, this article comes from Clipped.com, and there's no author name, so you know it's quality. Yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> Here's one from my favorite show. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Mac, Dennis, D, and Charlie don't look like that. It says, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is a show that primarily focuses on the delusions of a group of constantly drunk friends, and one fan theory takes that premise to the extreme by positing that the three main characters look nothing like how we view them. Although Frank and Charlie are okay with their weird selves, and we see them as they are, Mac, Dennis, and Dee all look like movie stars, but are never treated as such by their characters. The theory posits that Mac actually has scrawny arms, but sees himself as being built. You know, I'm not going to read it anymore because it's fucking stupid. Oh, Mac sees himself as built because he's insecure, and he's really not in that great of shape. So, fuck this fan theory. I'm moving on to the next one. Uh, I don't like Harry Potter. I don't like Pokemon. Here you go. <laughs> this one's for you. Shock. Uh, sorry, Shock. Sherlock and Spock are related. Oh, I hate that what? fucking fan theory. As surprising as this sounds, it's not actually uh, just a fan theory, but canonical. The connection arises over a quote. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. The line is originally from Sherlock Holmes and then, eh, and then is quoted in Star Trek and then quoted again in the BBC series Sherlock, but is attributed to Sh uh, Spock in that show. However, in Star Trek four, or sorry, six, The Undiscovered Country, Spock attributes the quote to an ancestor of his, which makes him canonically a descendant of Sherlock Holmes himself. Uh, oh, or he can oh. is he just fucking is half human and he read the fucking books. Yeah, that's a th that's probably more plausible. Um, here you go. This one's beyond retarded. Jack Dawson was a time traveler. <laughs> I've heard about this. I, I've heard this. The most romantic cinematic achievements of all time, mm -hmm. but some fans think that there is science fiction twist involved. The theory is that Jack is a time traveler sent back in time to prevent Rose from committing suicide. Jack makes a number of references to man-made structures that didn't exist until after sinking, the sinking of the Titanic, such as Lake Wissota, which was made five years later, and the roller coaster at Santa Monica Pier, which was constructed four years later. Similarly, his rucksack and haircut seemed out of place for that time, and, we had to gam and he had to gamble his way onto the ship since he didn't have any money from that time period. He had that haircut because he's Leonardo DiCaprio, and the people that made this movie didn't give a shit about accuracy. And, and yeah, honestly, it's fucking and, James Cameron. And and honestly, that makes the movie a little bit, a little bit better to watch which, if I think of him as a time traveler. Um, you know what? I'm done with these. Here's here's the final one I'll read. Breaking Bad is a sequel to Malcolm in the Middle. <laughs> uh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I lo I love that one. I really do love that one. You guys all know this one? Yeah, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> so there are a lot of jokes about how. The incredible character differences between Brian Cranston's two most famous roles, the happy go lucky father Hal and Malcolm in the Middle, and the brilliant but cruel meth kingpin Walter in Breaking Bad. Bad, okay. However, for all joking aside, there is legitimate theory that Malcolm and Walter are actually the same character years apart. Obviously, Malcolm would have probably grown up to look a lot like his dad, and Malcolm and Walt's character traits are very similar. Good at chemistry, resourceful, misunderstood, stubborn, and manipulative. The biggest problem is the name change but it could still make sense, especially due to the fact that Malcolm's grandfather was named Walter and the show is and is shown to be the only person who appreciates its genius. Although, Malcolm's last name is said to be Wilkerson. This only comes from one seed where it's written on Francis's uniform. But later in the show, he wears a name tag that reads, Francis, no last name. So that may be... So maybe he's wearing a different cadet's uniform in that episode. 
It could also it could also make sense that Malcolm changed his name in honor of his grandfather after failing to make it as a scientist and becoming a high school teacher. Uh, it's so dumb. Well, no, no. The, the one I heard is that um, <clears throat> uh, Walter Walter didn't really die, and he went into witness protection, and then made it. He was like he had to have a whole new family, and this and that, and the other, and then he became you know he, he became Malcolm in the middle. Well, or, or 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 the fact that uh, you know he was in Malcolm in the Middle and he was dreaming about being Walter White, and the end is just like him waking up from the dream. All I can say is that the only similarities between the two shows is Brian Cranston. Yeah. And one funny thing though, before we move on to our next segment, I'm looking at this thing that says movie marquees that accidentally told a different story. So, for example, there's a movie marquee that says there will be, there will definitely be blood, maybe. <laughs> and then well, no, no, no. Did you hear the fan the fan theory about Marty McFly br- brutally dying in Back to the Future Part Two? It's wrong, but let's hear it. Uh, basically, the part when um, he backs up over the roof and falls onto the DeLorean and it you know it, it hovers up. That's a part where he died, and, and Doc had to go back and save him cu- a couple of times. Um, the part where uh, he's getting chased by Biff. Uh, down the tunnel, and uh, the DeLorean is there with the, I guess the rope or whatever. Yeah, those little flags. The from, little uh, flags and pulls him up. States. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he died there. This you know at at some point as well during the whole thing, and Doc had to come. Said got Doc had to come back a couple times and save him. That's a theory as well. That wouldn't work though because the DeLorean was malfunctioning. Yeah, exactly. So whoever came up with that theory, I know. Look at that. Plus, why... it ended, the theory would have ended in the second one because if if he was. Supposed to fucking save Marty, he would have known that he would have got fucking sent back to the 1800s. True. So, yeah. So how? So he's just. So how many times would he have accidentally gone back to the 1800s? At some point, it wouldn't be an accident. And then Marty could never go back to bring him back, so it wouldn't work. Right. Exactly. Because he's stuck there without Marty. Because right. Uh, Marty takes the time machine back with the intention of saving Doc, but those Indians shoot an, an arrow, and it hits the gas tank. So I yep. guess that's a joke. <laughs> No, the thing I said earlier though about <laughs> fan theories is it's, you know, the fans are just trying to be a part of it. And it's nice to want to be, like, involved with a show or something, but you didn't create the show. If you're that adamant on creating something, go create your own thing. Like, I support independent art, you know, wholeheartedly. But don't try to fucking change a movie or, or you know, oh, I perceive it this way. No, it's one way that it's the same movie for everybody on the fucking planet. Yeah, exactly. I found a fan theory. What? I'm pretty sure you'll hate it. Doc Brown tries to commit suicide with a DeLorean. <laughs> Please explain. Please don't. The Doc is ready to kill himself and Marty in the parking lot during the first time travel scene. Not only has he never tested the time machine, but he claims that many of his inventions have been failures. So during the moment when he's about to find out if his life work was a huge success or a complete waste, he not only drives oh, the DeLorean God. towards himself, but grabs onto Marty when he tries to run away. If that first time travel <laughs> test was a failure, they both would have been killed. Here's Which one thing, a- though. He only talks about stuff that he's finally built something that works when we meet his past self from 1955. So the person's argument in the beginning is false because that 1985 doc has never admitted to failing. All he says is, I spent my family fortune and 30 years of my life to build this. He, and when, he's, when he meets his young self, he goes, I finally invented something that works. When he finally sees the flux capacitor, so... Fuck you, fan theory. Fuck you and your stupid asses. <laughs> Real quick, I just wanted to mu- bring, uh, read this movie marquee thing. It made me laugh. So they put like three movies on a movie marquee, and they all tell a story. So this one says, Fantastic Four knocked up Nancy Drew. <laughs> this, this, this one's the best one, though. Aaron Brockovich screwed my dog Skip. <laughs> Here's one. 40-year-old virgin penguins. Uh, and here's your uh, favorite one, Dion. Clash of the Tit. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, here's another one. There's three movie posters next to each other. Superman Returns, Aragon, and X-Men 3. And they spell out sex. <laughs> <laughs> and Pirates Knocked Up Shrek. <laughs> oh, God. oh, here's the best one. Just go with it. Sucker punch Justin Bieber. <laughs> yes. Okay, I stand corrected. Maybe this one's the best one. Transformers sex tape. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on, wait. This might be the best one. This one comes from the Skyway Theater. Vampires suck the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's the final one, Nick. Seven showgirls to die for Halloween. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's wow, man, that's crazy. I just I just wanted to read these because I thought that made me laugh. So since this episode's really short, we're only at an hour and five minutes, <laughs> and I don't have enough fan mail. We're gonna play our favorite game: explain a film plot badly. So I'm gonna explain some film plots, and you guys are gonna try to guess what the fuck they are. How's that sound? I love this game. <laughs> I love this too. This is the uh, this is the official World Class Bullshitters game. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually have you, you the listeners play a drinking game so what you do is you get yourself up some shots and every time you guess the wrong movie you take a drink and you tell us how it goes for you hold on before we go i found a good movie marquee yeah blow the mexican crocodile dundee in los angeles <laughs> <laughs> it's a little long but i'll, I'll go with it that's fucking beautiful it is. <laughs> so, Dan, here we go. This is for all you guys, obviously. A white child is told he is special. Then he goes to a private school. Star Wars? Alright, Nick says Star Wars. Dan? X-Men. Alright, Dion? Harry Potter. Dion is correct. The answer is Harry Potter. Nah! Yeah. Alright. Two! One point to Dion. Man destroys family heirloom. Dion, you got the last point, so you get to go first. Uh, man destroys family heirloom. Fuck. Um, Is that your answer? That's my favorite movie, but no. Oh, uh, shit. Um, man. Your favorite God. movie, ass, and it swept the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> Including best screenplay. I'm going to go with uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay, Nick. Uh, risky business. Risky business, Dan. Titanic. The correct answer is the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> 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 All right, the next one. Love in the time of Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you get to go first. Uh. uh the... Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Nick? Um, hostage. Okay, Dion? It's Beauty and the Beast. Are you looking these up? No, I'm not, I swear. Okay. <laughs> Better not be, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. This is oh, was I right? Yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> no, he's asking if you're cheating because you were wrong. Yeah. That's how, all te- that's how teachers work in school. Jack, you got an F on this test. Did you cheat? You did it wrong. (laughs) Right. Slightly neurotic, mildly interesting white woman realizes douche lord and her dreams... Sorry, let me reread this. Slightly neurotic, mildly interesting white woman realizes douche lord of her dreams was there all along. And now here's, here's the shit kicker. It's four separate movies. You can guess one of these four and get a point. If you guess multiple movies, you get all Uh, the points. Okay. So I gotta go first because I've got the last one, right? Yeah. Uh, It's probably, I'm guessing, 16 Candles. Wrong! (laughs) 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 No, it's not 16 Candles. You're close, but... Uh, Keep guessing or they go... You get get four guesses if you can get any of these movies. So you guess 16 Candles, that's wrong, but, you know. Okay. Uh, what's the, uh, Pretty in Pink? Incorrect. Um, mildly attractive, douche lords there the whole time. What's the shitty one with John Cusack? Uh, ser- not serendipity, but the other shitty one with the fucking... <laughs> Say anything. Incorrect. Jerry Maguire. That's your closest <laughs> one, but that is... <laughs> Shit. All right, Nick, would you like to go? Um... Uh, yeah, I'll go. That's fine. So, I'll say it again. Slightly neurotic, mildly interesting white woman realizes douche lord of her dreams was there all along. Uh, Bridget Jones' Diary. That is one of them. (laughs) Oh, fuck. (laughs) 
Uh, Superman? Wrong. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Failure to launch. Ah. All right. He said mildly interesting. <laughs> hey, real quick, for the record, there's an episode of Walker, Texas Ranger on where a group of guys in gorilla masks just robbed a convenience store. Arambe! Arambe is fighting Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh, I don't like his chances. He's going to die again. <laughs> this Chuck fucking Norris. Um... <clears throat> uh, the the one movie with Jennifer Lopez in it. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Th- good thing you're here for that one. <laughs> the Heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're both the wrong. It's not that movie. So Dan, would you like to guess? Um, no, uh, Saint Elmo's Fire. Wrong. <laughs> Breakfast Club. Wrong. When Harry met Sally. Wrong. <laughs> I got nothing on the fourth one. All right, so Nick gets his point. The other answers were Clueless, The Bounty Hunter, oh God. and, so, well, sorry. Yeah, it's The Bounty Hunter, and Someone to Hold You. Sorry. Yeah, no one was going to guess The Bounty Hunter, I promise you that. <laughs> no. Well, mm. you had to watch it. That's Here we true. go. <laughs> Here's the most obscure one, and there's four options as well. You gonna cry a lot. The oh, color really? <laughs> What? The color purple. The <laughs> okay, so you guessed the notebook. You guessed the color purple. Nick, would you like to guess one? Old Yeller. Nick is the closest. The correct <laughs> answers are Up, Toy Story 3, The Land Before Marley Time, or me. Inside Out. Oh, Inside Out. Never seen it. Nope. No. Oh, I'm thinking of the Denzel Washington Heist movie, Inside <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, I didn't cry during that movie once. <laughs> <laughs> I've never cried during a fucking Pixar movie, but whatever. I don't have a soul. That's fine. You don't need one. Here we go. Hitchhikers with self-esteem issues get lost in the woods and meet a televangelist who is a fraud. Nick, since you got the last point, you can go again. That is a hell of a description. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that one more time. Hitchhikers with self-esteem issues get lost in the woods and meet a televangelist who is a fraud. Wizard of Oz? All right, Nick guess Wizard of Oz. Dan? Uh, without a paddle. Without a paddle. That's a good movie. Dion. Hitchhikers lost in the woods. Tell Evangelist who's a fraud. Shit. Um. Hitchhikers lost in the woods. What the fuck? Um. Shit. I had one. In my uh. Fucking damn it. Hitchhikers lost in the fucking woods. Shit, um... <clears throat> Just say Schindler's List and we'll move on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with, um, Jungle Book. Well, Nick was right, it was The Wizard of Oz. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this one's stupid, you'll all guess it, but I'm gonna read it anyway. Miserable billionaire terrorizes mentally ill man. <laughs> 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 Dion? Batman. <laughs> and? Batman. Nick? Batman. Wrong, it's the Dark Knight. Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, oh, fuck oh, you. <laughs> oh, this is easy, but I won't read it. I'll just read it anyway. Adopted kid's older brother won't let him hold the hammer. <laughs> oh, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, these are, some of these are so easy. Ah, uh, man's midlife crisis endangers his family and entire city. Nick? All right. Midlife crisis. Oops. Dangers. Um. Damn, midlife crisis. <laughs> oh, I know what that is. I feel like I know this one, but I want to get it wrong because I can Okay, Dad. <laughs> honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Okay, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Dion? Uh, Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman. Nick? Um, Star Wars The Force Awakens. You're all <laughs> wrong, but Dion is the closest. The correct answer is The Incredibles. <laughs> ah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yep. That's good. Here we go. Classic guy meets girl. Girl loses... Sorry, excuse me. 
Classic guy meets girl. Guy loses girl. Reunites and lives happily ever after. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> uh, doesn't Patrick Swayze die in that movie? But they meet mm, again. Yes, he does. Happily ever after. They meet again. Yeah, because he's a yeah. ghost. He haunts her ass. <laughs> oh, that's kind of dark. <laughs> there's a pot. There's a clay pot being made somewhere. <laughs> Why couldn't they make me a statue of Harambe? I feel like they'd be really accurate that way. Did you guys uh, see the uh, the fucking the Facebook video where a dude uh, makes a 2K16 video where he makes one of the players Harambe? No. <laughs> and, he, and they just show he's like two feet taller than everybody else. And he's just like dunking the ball and shit and hitting himself on the chest. It's way funnier than it should be. It's hilarious. I need to see this. I need to see this as well. So does it, so no one has a, an answer? Sharknado. <laughs> Uh, burying the X. That's a great movie. Jerry Maguire. Correct answer is Gone Girl. I was close. <laughs> Ugh. That's not really happily ever. Well, it is horribly fucking. Uh, it's depressing, and I bought that on Blu ray. I love that movie. Oh, I have, I have to watch it then. All right. Guy wants to bone Siri. Oh, I know that. Oh. Oh, that's her. Yep, that's her. Yep. Okay, cool, because I forgot the name of it. <laughs> Here we go. A conversation about hamburgers leads to violence. Um, oh, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> okay, Dion, just yep. blurt it out. Yeah, Pulp Fiction. Good luck getting this one. <laughs> Hot man ignored. Wait, what? Hot man ignored. Ghost dad? <laughs> <laughs> Not even close, but hey. Cool. Uh, cable guy. Cable guy? Okay. Um, seven. The correct answer is Jurassic Park. <laughs> Who's the hot dude in North? Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> no one listens to him. <laughs> <laughs> they ignored the fly so much. So that was my favorite game. You know, it was official world class bullshitters drinking game. Explain a film plot badly. Um,. We've asked you this before, but we'll ask you again. You know, ask us some questions. You know, try to stump us. Apparently it's not that hard. <laughs> oh, here you go. This one's easy. Inter a rebellious teen enters into an interspecies relationship against her father's wishes. Underworld? Oh, no, that's, uh, that's fucking um, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid is right. <laughs> Geriatric man commits benefit fraud while an evil chocolatier punishes greedy children. <laughs> <laughs> the Cosby Show? <laughs> Who's the chocolatier? Oh. Willy Wonka, bitch! <laughs> Here we go. Local motel receives one and a half stars on Yelp. Loses points for creepy manager killing guests, but showers have hot water. No. <laughs> Room 1408. Uh, the uh, uh, I actually want to get one right. It's psycho. There you go. <laughs> I got a point. Fuck y'all. Here's the most <laughs> obscure one ever. Guy goes fishing, comes home empty-handed. Brokeback Mountain. Big fish. Jaws. What was the movie with Chris Hemsworth last year? The Moby Dick one? Oh, the... Uh, White, was White Heart White. of the Sea. Heart of the Sea. That was that movie. Oh, God. I want to see that still. Do you really? Why? I do. Moby Dick, bruh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So, I guess it's now time for me to read some fan mail. Woo! I know, right? You excited? Uh, hi, fans. So, since you've last listened to World Class Bullshitters, we have released three videos! Woo! Two Schlocktoberfest promos, which you guys should be checking out, because Schlocktoberfest is going to be fucking awesome. Even if you're not into horror movies... We got stuff that appeals to everybody, but it has to be Halloween related. So, in relation to last week's episode, episode 43 of World Class Bullshitters, where we talk about Warner Brothers admitting that the DC films suck. Um, well, the comments don't want to load. So, Woo! That's, one of the benefits <laughs> that's my of favorite comment. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. Good night. Okay, Anna B is back. What's up? 
Yeah. So she says, you can't fix what isn't broken. The problem is out-of-touch producers who are so far up their own asses, they just don't know. They just know, know that they can do better, and no one tells them otherwise. It's nearly impossible to recreate the charm of the originals, even more so when you don't get what makes them great in the first place. And just when I think I can't agree with you guys more, you bring up Key and Peel. They're hardly niche comedy or anything, but I'm still waiting for something. Like letting slip that you torture baby animals or campaign for Hillary Clinton. So she is trying to catch us with something that makes her hate us, but she hasn't yet. So I told her not to talk to Dion about Hillary Clinton. <laughs> that was the most unnatural laugh ever. You've been hanging out with this dude too long. Uh, this one comes from Jason Christopher Davis. Uh, they need to either do one of two things for episode eight. Kill Ray, kill her dead, or turn her to the dark side and have a mental breakdown and kill everyone. Either way, apparently everybody has to die. Officer not, President not says, wrong. why don't they just let Star Wars die? <laughs> That'll never happen. That's an even fairer point, sir. Yeah, Officer President, you are president of the fan club for a reason. Uh, pff, let's see... Todd Howard wants to be on our show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he also says he doesn't believe that our email host is just mail.com. Listen, it's mail.com. It's the best mail. Dot com. Oh, God com. damn it. All right. We wouldn't have been doing that every fucking episode if it wasn't. Yeah, it's really a thing. Just Google mail.com. It's bullshit. <laughs> M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. I did not mail him. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Shout out to Liquid Metal Pro and Realities Frank. Realities Frank, I think, joined Facebook just to talk to us. So, thank Sweet. you, Frank. We really appreciate it. Uh, hating me is conforming. He gives a shout out to Small Soldiers. Yeah, uh, yeah. I watched that the other night. It made me really sad that the 90s are over. Um, Brian Lape says he's happy to hear Joel back on the show. Well, Joel's not on the show tonight, Brian, because Joel's old. Time for you to get really sad, Brian. <laughs> I'm sorry to, to break it to you. Joel probably will never be on the show again because he might no, not. No, he'll be he'll be on the one year anniversary. He'll be in bed. We have to record at like two in the afternoon <laughs> on Sunday. Oh, damn! Too early. I know. We'll still be in bed. And the rest of the comments are all positive, so I don't really have much else to say. Uh, let's see what people said about my review of The Get Down on Netflix, which you can check out on our channel. It's part of our Now on Netflix series each week on World Class Bullshitters. Augs for President says it was a great review and he'll check it out. He didn't tell us what he thought of it yet, so Augs, if you watched it, tell us what you thought. Get on the ball. And Liquid, and Liquid Metal Pro is very excited for Schlocktoberfest. And who is the one guy? I want to give him a shout out too because he follows us on Twitter. He follows us on here. He may even follow us on Facebook. I don't know, but he's a dedicated fan. And I'm going to mention him in just a moment on this goddamn YouTube will load. I don't get it though. Our videos are weird. We have only 61 views in this one video, but we have 32 comments. That seems a little high for just. Yeah, you know, just a tad. It's just like, hey, people love to comment. We need to get more views. Fans, we love you guys. Tell your friends about us. Help us grow. His name is ViperTech247. He says, schlock it to me, baby. Well, Viper... <laughs> hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. I'm going to give you 31 days of schlock, brother. All right? I'm going to give you a precious kiss. D don't, don't you mean schlong? Schlong? Schlongtoberfest? <laughs> if we were going to do a dick related, I want to be Cocktoberfest. I'm just Cocktoberfest. 31 days of Cocktoberfest. Oh, <laughs> Dustin will never leave. <laughs> I can't stop. I haven't closed my eyes in 31 days. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Todd Howard is hoping that we talk about Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. Oh, well, fuck mm. yeah. Well, uh, if he listens to date three of uh, Schlocktoberfest, he may have a little surprise waiting for him. Yes, he will. Not That's anymore. I didn't say he, he will. I said he may. Yeah, shut up, Dan. Fucker. Where? So, I guess I will check the mail. This is the longest fucking episode on the history of World Class Bullshitters, even though it's technically the shortest ma episode. But I don't want to... Uh... 90 minutes is where I want to cut it off. Because our 45-minute episodes suck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Sarah Michelle Geller's on the cover of Mail.com. Ooh. And I was watching I Know What You Did last summer in preparation for Schlocktoberfest. She was Why really would you do that? Because <laughs> I missed the 90s and she was really cute. She was like super cute in the fucking 90s. Like, she was like girl... the girl of the 90s. Yeah, man. Buffy and fucking those DSLs. And her shitty Scooby Doo movie. God, no. Wow. Wait, no, bo- wait, no, wait. W- w- were they both in the 90s or just one of them in the 90s? Uh, they were neither of them for the 90s, actually. Yeah, I think the first Scooby Doo movie was like 2003. Either way, I saw it in theaters and regretted it instantly. Yeah, just plus, keep it as a cartoon. Don't don't make it live action. Plus, I liked Linda Cardellini better than I liked Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yeah. Good news, Dion. Ooh. Today at 4.37, we got an email from Goop.com. Oh, my God. I fucking love that site. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Hey Luke voice right there. Hey, <laughs> hey we actually got a, an email from a fan, finally. What? The Cape Crusader emailed us. He wants to be on the interactive news show one day. Sweet. He gave us his information. I'm clearly not going to read it on air to, you know. <laughs> Why not? Out. Cape <laughs> Crusader, I will have you on the show. Dustin and I just weren't able to get something done this week, but it's not dead. So, all the listeners out there, if you like world class bullshitters, and real quick, Nick, sorry to go off topic. I'm watching another episode of Walker, Texas Ranger, and it's using the Tales from the Crypt font. <laughs> I don't know why it's throwing me off. Anyway, though, if you are a listener of this show, or as we should call you, a friend of this show, if you want to be on uh, the uh, World Class Bullshitters interactive news show, shoot us an email at worldclassbs at mail.com and give us your Twitter information, and we will work out a time and a day, and we will interview you. Dustin has a bunch of really sick, hey Luke like questions, and. You know, we'll embarrass you for 20 minutes and make you famous. Oh, you that sounds... You want to plug, so. It sounds so disturbing that <laughs> Dustin's does. coming up with the questions. <laughs> and they don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. <laughs> 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 stop coming. Oh, God. <clears throat> if only the fans knew... You know what, Dan? Try to explain to them what that means. Uh, it don't stop coming. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Explained. No, um... Apparently, there's this whole genre of repeating music over and over and over, and I didn't know about it until some asshole named Dion Green sent ruined me everyone's lives. Yeah, it was a four-minute video of Dave Grohl going the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. <laughs> and then next to it, I saw the little fat dude from uh, Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Like, oh, I'm gonna click on this, and they didn't stop coming. Just constant, constant fucking. Coming. Coming. Just all over your face, neck, neck and chest. And it was just oh, not... Bad. So Dustin has liked that video 40 times with 30 different profiles. <laughs> no, stop coming. No, stop coming. Oh, we got an email from Pornhub. Woo! Hey. Thanks. Verify your account, please. <laughs> it just says, welcome back. Your password has been successfully changed. Dear Dion, stop watching Asian porno. <laughs> <laughs> Elevator Rim Jobs Part 7. The Quickening. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that was beyond stupid. Anyway. But it was effective. Thank you. Uh, we got a bunch of new Twitter followers thanks to, thanks to some Samoan guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like Moodum. We're almost up to 600. Yeah, so, I think the official count is... 586. 586. Good job. And there's a podcast that we follow about Star Wars. I'm going to unfollow them right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're cool. They're cool. Uh, you know what? I'll give them a shout out. Called Starship Sabers. Thumbs up, guys. You have Lando Calrissian in your image. So you're not racist. <laughs> we, read the, we read the mail. We read the Twitters. We read the Facebook. We read all that good shit. So the fan mail segment of tonight's show is over. Uh, as I've stated, we are getting closer to the one-year anniversary of World Class Bullshitters. If you would like to suggest one of your favorite World Class Bullshitters moments, you know what we're going to do? We're going to change it up. You can still do that, but we're going to have a nomination for our favorite moment of the show ever. So, you know, guys, better on the show right now, I want you guys to think of something that you remember from the first year of the show, and I will uh, I'll put it in the episode. I got a couple uh, voice clips ready to go already. 
So this has been episode 44 of World Class Bullshitters. Every Thursday night, we take a dump on the world of pop culture. If you like this show, give us a thumbs up, comment below, and, you know, share it. Tell your friends about us. We're growing the channel. We would like to get to 2,000 subscribers by the time we hit episode 50, and that's only 70, excuse me, 65 subscribers away. So, you know, spread the word. Help our channel grow. The whole YouTube thing really fucked us up. We would be at over 2,000 by now. So, whatever. But we're not going to bitch. We're just going to keep coming. No, don't stop coming and all that other good <laughs> shit. <laughs> but, uh, tune in this Friday, excuse me, this Saturday for Schlocktoberfest. It's 31 days of nonstop terror. We're starting with Are You Afraid of the Dark and Goosebumps, and we're going to move into a million other horror topics. I might have even released a video of me dressed up in a Halloween costume scaring unsuspecting women. So if oh, you want to see that and learn a little bit about me, <laughs> make sure creepy. to check out Schlocktoberfest. Oh, you, you yeah, you, yeah, you, you really got to watch that. I, I hope that's still on there because that's an amazing video. I love that video so much. Oh, Nick, I actually put that video inside of the Schlocktoberfest video. You did? Oh, my God. Yeah, the whole fucking thing. And then yes. I found a whole bunch of pictures of me in the costume that I put in the video, too. Oh, so that's awesome. The fans don't have to imagine what it looked like anymore. They'll just see it. That's great, because I like that, that video is... I mean, it's extremely amateur, but it's just so... It's just, like, just you in the costume freaking out people for for a little bit, and it's it's so good. I enjoy it. It's crazy. It's one of the highlights of my life. And that's not saying much. <laughs> anyway, I've been your host, Jeff X. I'm Dion Green, the man with the plan and the original tan, and my advice is sometimes pludging the poo shoot isn't that bad. Luke? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been your last and last and only remaining Samoan, so um, I'll see you next week. Say hi last of a dying breed. Double. Say hi to Daniel Day-Lewis for me. <laughs> And Dan. The asthmatic <laughs> asshole has left the building. I'm here. <laughs> or died. Or did. <gasps> oh, I guess we should give a, a eulogy for all the dead bullshitters before we go. <laughs> Phil's dead. Yeah, uh, I sent him a chocolate cake and all of his arms and legs fall, fell off. So. <laughs> all of his arms and legs! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even fucking... bite it. He just looked at it and went, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Great season's ghost. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, Rich. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep going. This is background music. Oh, uh, but it Joel, was so nice. Joel fell down the stairs and broke his hip. Oh, damn it. That kills people now. I hope he survived oh, by his fuck. dog, Tiberius. <laughs> and the children he never had. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, Eric Eric got at work because he, I guess he worked too little. Eric got into a fight with Indians at work and they finally came back for their revenge. <laughs> That's a true story. What kind of Indians? Uh, Got in a fight uh, with uh, Indians uh, ever. Dion, for background music, you're a little loud. What was that? You're, for background music, you're a little loud. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Keep going, keep going, it's good. Eric you know, I wonder whatever happened to Brian. He I don't. <laughs> This is what happened. He got into a group of women and yelled, gentlemen, and they all stabbed him. He is a big, hairy white guy with a beard, and he looks pretty weird with it. But then they real Oh, you keep going. They How can we? He met a really small dick, and he called it Dustin, his gentleman. <laughs> And then Dustin, um, he looked at the world's Dustin biggest dick and had a heart attack. Looked at dick. His, his dick exploded. Uh, and that made him kill himself. Uh, he him out. And the only thing that stopped him from killing himself was wanting to suck him. <laughs> but he didn't suck him all the time because he had hemorrhoids. <laughs> And his poo shoot was delicate.